Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll be showing you how to install Metroid Dread on Yuzu Emulator. Now before we get started, please subscribe and like and comment if this works for you so other people know it's real. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Now since we're starting from zero, you'll get this error saying you're missing keys. So just click OK on that. Here you can click yes or no. I'm going to click no for now. And now we're going to add the keys. So you go to file and then open Yuzu folder. All right, and here you'll have some folders. If not, try to close and reopen Yuzu and uh, go here again. And you should have a keys folder, all small letters. If you don't have it, you can also just make a new folder called keys. Now paste the prod keys file in here. Links down below. There's a new prod keys file, guys. It's 12 KB big now instead of 10. So keep that in mind for newer games that will be coming soon. And yes, I will make a guide on them. But yeah, anyways, after this, you can click out of the folder. And here we're going to double click to add a new folder to the game list. So again, you're adding a folder, not your games. So don't be looking for your games. Be looking for the folder that the game is in. The game file should be .xci or .nsp. If it's a .zip or .rar, it will not work. So you have to unzip it. Now I got my folder right here called the Yuzu Games. I'm going to select the folder and here you can see it didn't show up my games yet. So what we're going to do first is right click on the folder and scan subfolders. Make sure that is checked. Now what we're going to do here is click out of Yuzu and open it again. Now once you open Yuzu again, as you can see, it will show your games. But we're not there yet because if you would start it now you wouldn't have any controls or good settings and it will lag a lot so let's get right into those settings so what you want to do is go to emulation and configure now the first thing i'm going to do right here guys you don't have to do anything under general but i'm going to go to ui and put it on dark colorful because i like my eyes so nothing else has changed except the look of yuzu so there you go if you want the same look as me but yeah, I'm going to go back into emulation and configure. And as I said, you don't have to do anything here. Under system, this is where you can change the time, by the way, the custom RTC. We don't have to do that, though. Keep all of this the same as it is. You can make a profile or rename it. So when you're playing online, watch my online guide. Your name will show up as it is right here. So for me, the name Yuzu will show up if I join a lobby. Now, as I said, watch my online guide. I'm not going over this now. In CPU, just keep this on auto. You can play with it if uh, stuff doesn't work for you, though. Just keep it on auto to be safe. Now, this is very important, the graphics settings. So I do recommend Vulkan lately because we don't need shader cache that way, or at least way less. And here, you got to choose your best graphics card. Now, for me, that's my 3060 Ti. Uh, if you have, like, a laptop with, like, a real GPU and a Intel HD, please make sure to update your drivers for the real GPU and choose that device. Now in here, make sure all of these are ticked. Make sure it's on GPU video decoding, unless you have a really beefy CPU and not a beefy GPU, which I would not imagine, but then try CPU video decoding if you want. Um, in here, I'm gonna put the resolution on 2X, Note, you do need a graphics card with 4 gigabytes of VRAM at least 42x resolution. So don't try this on Intel HD or whatever. Now in here, I'm going to choose nearest neighbor and I'm going to choose FXAA for my anti-aliasing mode. And uh, yeah, then here you're set, but we got to go to advanced. Make sure the asynchronous shader building hack is on as well. It will make things way faster. And and isotropic filtering, I'm going to just keep it on default. You can uh, play around with this. Maybe it will get even sharper. Now in audio, you don't really need to do anything. But if you want to change your audio device, it's right here. And now controls, which is very important. What you want to do is uh, look at your controls because it's already kind of set up. Right now, it's for keyboard. Uh, for me, this menu is a little bit glitched. So wait, I'm going to try it again. Alright, so normally you would click on this and it will show different types of controllers. But whatever, I'm going to use the Pro Controller anyway. And it does see my Xbox controller. Now, it did set up basically everything right. But what I'm going to do is change these buttons to the actual buttons on my Xbox controller. And for the rest, 
I kind of leave it alone. If you don't want vibration, you can turn it off here. Make sure this says docked, not undocked. And if you have like a PS4 controller or any controller with motion, then you can turn it on here and configure it. I'm just keeping it on because I don't, I don't really have it, but it's fine. Now in here you can make a new controller profile, name it, and then click OK. And if you want to do changes to it, just press save. Uh, I'm just not going to do that. And uh, yeah, basically we're set up now. So press OK. And I'm going to show you that the game works now. I can't show you my full screen because otherwise Nintendo will take down this video. But yeah, I'm going to launch it right now. If you have any questions or something doesn't work, join the Discord server. Uh, it's way easier for me to help you than in the comments. And I update my links way more often in the Discord. All right, so as you can see, it works. This is still part of a very long uh, <laughs> cutscene, but you guys get the point. Yeah, let me know in the comments, as I said, if it works so other people know it's real. And uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord server. I will be doing a giveaway soon. And uh, yeah. Peace thou out, guys. Peace.